So how many deficiencies can we find on a warranty inspection from a big builder? Well, we're on our way. Let's find out. All right, so here we are on the roof. We already found our first issues. Number one, the gutters. We have the flashing right there for the roof, which is good. But the gutters, you see all that standing water here? The downspout over here. And not slow properly. Plus, like clockwork, the gutter itself is not properly draining to the lower gutter. It's actually draining to the roof right there. What that's going to do is going to cross the leak right in this section. So solution is to just divert the water down to the lower gutter directly and avoid roof leaks. Just keep looking. All right, next issue is right here. We got this uh, kind of a clip gable right here. Well, as they mudded at the end of the tile right here, you got your first layer of, you got your flashing, then your underlayment, and then the tile. But that underlayment right there is exposed. Uh, I'd like to see that more, at least sealed off. Also the wall right here got some cracking going on that needs to be sealed up you don't want moisture in there just keep looking we got some more cracks right here more cracking right here more cracking right there seal it up let's go all right got some cracked tiles right here and some pretty big ones right here so tile is of course not the waterproofer, it's actually just the, it's just actually an architectural feature, but it, what it will do is expose the underlayments to UV light directly and that's gonna degrade it, so. Plus you don't want them flying around during a hurricane. All right, let's keep looking. Got some caulking missing. Right there where that fascia returns to the wall. That's gonna let water in. Easy fix, let's keep looking. All right, so we got a Linux condenser, three and a half ton. You can see right here the condenser's not level. That's not gonna get any better on its own. It can only get worse, right? So they'll have to either reset the slab or just shim it up whatever the AC technician deems good. All right, let's keep looking. All right, so here we are on the right elevation. You got your gutters going down to the subterranean drain, which I love. However, uh, yard's not perfectly graded away from the property, and you can see right here. Squish, squish, squish. And also, in between the houses, on these zero lot lines, it's really difficult for them to, uh, well, they try to cut corners. Right here is a collection of water. And you can see the zero lot line right here. Or drainage. They need to put in a French drain going out that way. All right, let's keep looking. The area where caulking is missing. That's gonna suck in water goes pretty deep in too. All right, let's keep looking. All right, here we have the gas meter on the left elevation, right? Everything appears to be pretty good on its surface, but see this right here? This valve has a good seal right there. That, that screen is hard to move. Here's another one right here. However, that's not gonna last. All right, recommend repair. Let's keep looking. To prevent electric shock, you should always get your generator set up installed professionally. This one is just that. It's a Guardian 18 kilowatt made by Generac and it's professionally installed. You can see everything is nice and strapped and secured. And one of the most important safety devices is this main breaker lockout. In order to turn the power from the breaker, uh, from the generator to the helm, it goes to this breaker. This breaker will not turn on unless you actually turn off the main breaker and slide that up. What does that do? That protects the linesmen down line that are making the repairs to the electrical grid from getting shocked from your generator because it will backfeed. So if your setup does not have this main breaker lockout, call an electrician and get it done. It is a lifesaver. Come on now. Get with it.
tighten it up, will you? Let's keep looking. All right, so here we are on the front elevation. You can see we got some pretty significant water uh, collecting here. Uh, it's been there for a while because you see the grass is not growing. It could be from a plumbing leak from a sprinkler system, um, but what's not helping is the fact that this driveway, the apron is sunken in, and you can see this gutter right here is about almost a half inch below, preventing that water from properly draining. And this also is uh, needs to be built up, and it might even be the cause of this sidewalk cracking right there. Granted, this community is still under construction, so this whole entire road is still gonna get a top coat. Uh, that might even add to the problem. Uh, it might not solve it. It's definitely not gonna solve this problem when they pick up the, uh, the pavement. But over here, best solution is to rebuild this apron here and build up, build up the yard right there so it all properly drains into the drain and down to the sewer like it's supposed to. All right, let's keep looking. Actually, this is a neighbor's house. Check this one out. So you got the drain coming out right here. And they have All right, I think I found the source of the water. So here we're on the right elevation, right? This uh, is the end house on the street. And we got a nice berm. There's a road, main road right here. And this berm is obviously sloped towards the house, right? There is a slope away from the house. So you got a bunch of water collecting right here. They apparently, install the proper drainage system that's going to kick out right here the only problem is is that it's obviously set too low and instead of draining directly into there it drains all along that gap and it ends up right here causing more of a mess over there so they're going to have to fix this as well all right let's keep looking all right i think i found the source of the water so here we're on the right elevation right this uh, is the end house on the street, and we got a nice berm. There's a road, main road right here. And this berm is obviously sloped towards the house, right? There is a slope away from the house, so you got a bunch of water collecting right here. They apparently installed the proper drainage system that's gonna kick out right here. The only problem is, is that it's obviously set too low, and instead of draining directly into there, it drains all along that gap and ends up right here, causing more of a mess over there. So they're gonna have to fix this as well. All right, let's keep looking. Now check this out, Th thousands of inspections. I've never seen this before. Check out this attic. Pretty fancy. Looks like a thermal break to help keep the hot attic air from heating up the garage. Let's see what it looks like inside. Almost scared to open it. Got this. Woo. Fancy. All right, here we are in the attic, and you can see the water heater coming up through and it is completely covered by insulation. That my friends is a no. It ain't gonna fix itself. Definitely a fire hazard. Easy correction. Create a dam around that uh, flue and you're good to go. Let's keep looking. And here we are in the guest bathroom. I don't know about you, but that's not a lot of pressure. Mark it up, let's keep looking. All right, so you heard me say it many times before. Number one spot for mold growth is right in the supply button right here. This homeowner actually has a UV light installed both on the intake side of the coils and also in the supply button. Only issue is it's loose. Let's get it fixed. All right, here you are in the master bathroom, and uh, you can see there's actually a pretty good crack going on right here. It's even chipping the tile. Not just cracked, but it's also chipped. So, pretty significant movement all the way up there. Not uncommon for newer homes to have slab cracks because they don't let the slab cure properly before they put the, build the house. Basically, put the weight of the walls and everything else on it. However, this crack is more than normal. So I'm gonna recommend they pick up this tile, have it reviewed by a structural engineer for any possible structural issues, 
And when they build it back, they're going to put a membrane over that crack so that way if there's any movement, expansion, contraction throughout the season, it doesn't propagate up to the new tile. All right, let's keep looking. All right, so here we are in the master bathroom. I use the clear plate camera, you can see that purple over there, that's the actual AC vent. That's normal, but that spot definitely isn't normal. So what we want to do is double check it with our moisture meter. And lo and behold, nothing. So what is that? That is actually a pinhole duct, a pinhole in the ductwork in the attic, blowing cold air in that one spot. So always important to double check with moisture meter. Let's keep looking. Another shower, another bench, another proper installation. This should be sloped that way. So that means all the water's going that way. Sure ain't gonna fix itself. Just keep looking. All right, so there you have it. A lot of issues that aren't gonna fix themselves. Warranty inspections are important. Make sure you order those through a company that is well-versed, good reviews, extra qualifications are always a plus, and you will be good. If you need our services, reach out to us through our website, homestarinspectionsfl.com. Take it easy.